which must be capitalized. More than a third of you put I in your papers as a small I. I is a pronoun. And when you have I, it is a proper pronoun because it is referring to what? A particular person. Happens to be you. Or I. So you capitalize it. Okay. Now, some of you have trouble with the concept of this idea. The period. The period goes at the end of the sentence. It would look something like this. Not like this. I thought maybe you had a malfunction in your computer. The period does not go before the start of the first word of the next sentence. It goes at the end of the last word in the sentence. Now these may seem small to you, but I can't believe how many of these I circled. Now I told you there should be no spelling errors. I'm a terrible speller. I told you that. But when I'm on the computer, it's pretty foolproof. And it says, hey stupid, you misspelled this word. And it comes up red. Now some of you must have hit the delete button. Every time you sign a red, ignore once or ignore all times. Because you had these funny words in there. And they weren't Hindi words. They were misspelled English words. And that makes you look bad. And there's no need of that. I mean, a computer's a great thing if you can't spell. And I mean, it helps me all the time. Because when it comes up red, I know it's wrong. Don't hit ignore. It helps me also. What? It helps me also. Yeah, of course it does. Because if you're a bad speller like me, it makes a big difference. But don't hit ignore. It can't help you if you keep hitting ignore. You must practice your writing. I was shocked at how bad some of your writing was. And I know that I would have given you more written assignments. When you write, particularly when you go to work, when you write, that reflects upon you and on the company. And if, in fact, the writing is bad, that's going to show badly for you and the company. You need to think about that. So I would suggest you.